A number of years ago, I was pouring our wine in a bottle shop in Dallas, Texas. And while there, I was watching customers come and go. And I was surprised to see how many folk would just be popping into the shop to buy some bourbon. One of my first jobs was actually filling fortified wine into bourbon and whiskey barrels. I suggested to our distributor, asked if they'd be interested in having a fortified wine, a tawny port aged in bourbon barrels. So I came back to Australia and spoke to a buddy who works in the barrel world. Through him, we managed to import some bourbon barrels out of distilleries in Kentucky. So after a few months, a container arrived at the winery and we opened the doors up and woof, barrels of bourbon there had been, I guess, sweating it out across the equator as they travelled to Australia and the bourbon was thick in the air and also across the floor on the container. But what we did, we pulled the barrels out, drove the hoops up and filled it up with tawny. And as I said, it was a number of years ago now. Well, I grabbed a sample of that after having aged in those barrels for a little while. I went back to Dallas and presented the wine to them and asked what they thought and terribly excited to go ahead with it. We were too. We'd actually already been creating a bit of interest here and now it's spread a little further. And as we know, it's in Denmark, Holland, uh, Germany. Over recent years, there's been a great interest in gin and whiskey. With that comes, I guess, some creativity and what you can find in the way of bottles and packaging. And fortunately for us, there's a greater selection of bottles we can choose from. And we've found bottles that actually allow us to bottle here at the winery. We've set up a very small little bottling line where we can siphon fill from tank into bottle, hand apply a screw cap, put the shrink cap on, and then we have a small labeler that we can apply the front label, hand label, the neck label, put it into box and basically bottle on demand. So it's pretty handy for us to do that. We prepare just the wine we require. What I like is uh, the effect of aging tawny in old bourbon barrels. It's created a, a tawny now with a spirit lift that's different to the rest of the tawnies we have. That combined with a nuttiness, the butterscotch character, just through aging good old tawny in any old fortified barrel gives you that, but the combination of it all. Spirit level is a little bit higher, it's got a bit more spirit lift, but some might ident identify a bourbon-like character in there, others will just notice it's got something else that really complements the wine. Trust you'll enjoy it.